Welcome everybody, welcome back. Today I just wanted to make a very quick video. This video is on how to recognize that your bevel is set on a straight razor. Um, this video is not on how to set the bevel. I will do a video soon on that, but this video is to help a, a friend that was asking me what to look for when you do a nail test. So. I do two things to recognize that the bevel is set. I take the razor, by the way, this is all jacked up. I use it for testing uh, stones. But I take the razor and I make sure that I, I can cut hair from my arm effortlessly, <laughs> without effort. It can shave, it can shave. It has to shave all throughout the same way, not one side more than the other one. So you have to pay attention that it's not that you're not pressing harder or it's not shaving, it's skipping, it's leaving some hairs behind on the on, on the heel, but it, on the on the toe is is cutting really easy. It has to be even. That's when you know. The second way you know is doing the nail test. The nail test is a little tricky, but once you get it, it's really easy to know. And this nail test I use not only with straight razors, I use it with my kitchen knives, my all knives that I sharpen or hone, I do the same test. So first, before we get to how it feels, we're gonna do how it doesn't feel, right? So you have a razor, that it has in the need to be honed. You, we're gonna kill the edge, right? The bevel is not set, it needs to be set. Make sure, nope, not cutting any hairs. Then you take your wet, wet nail and then you drag. Let's see, there you go. You drag. You see that, how I'm holding it? I'm doing it like this so you can see I'm only using the weight of the razor. It slides. It slides. I recommend you do this before you start honing. If it slides, the bevel is not set. If it slides here and then it snags, then the bevel is definitely not set, but it's also uneven. So it should feel the same throughout, right? So now we're gonna set the bevel and then we're gonna show you how it should feel. Hopefully it doesn't take very long to set the bevel on this. Um, while I do this, guys, check out the new setup of my channel. Subscribe if you like videos like these. But right now I have a lot of content that's coming from uh, different things I've been doing, such as uh, motor blogging and motorcycle product uh, reviews. So I'm also doing videos in Spanish on those and everything now is in playlist. So check out each playlist uh, is divided so you get the content that you're looking for. So if you're not interested in motorcycles or anything that has to do with bikes or listening to that in Spanish, so you go straight to the straight racer one. I'm also, I also have a how-to playlist. This playlist is just on the how-tos and this is where this video, this category will fall in, all right? So let's see where we're at. Again, this is not on how to set the bevel. I will make a video on that soon. I have a, a series that I'm gonna make that is gonna be pretty lengthy. It's gonna be like six, seven, and I'm gonna do a how to, how to hone a, a, a razor, all the way from the beginning, from what you need to uh, get your shaving. So, wet the nail, it's wet, take the razor, and now let's see if there's any difference. See that? Let's see. 
So now it's grabbing a little bit. Not grabbing too much, but it's grabbing a little. It slides, but not so much. That means that you're not there yet. It needs to grab really, really well. It needs to dig into the nail. Don't worry, it's not gonna cut you. Make sure that you're not cutting your all the fingers while you do that. So I might have killed that that edge too much. But yeah, guys, check out all the other content. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Uh, and I'll try to make a video as soon as I can on your suggestion. This video is from a suggestion. Uh, I'm not going to mention the name because I don't know if he wants to be mentioned. But we were talking about it. He's like, man, I wish I could see a video how that looks like. Like, huh. I don't think I have a video specifically on that. All right, let's try that again. And these are only two ways of knowing. Now, a lot of people will tell you, some people will tell you do the thumbnail, the, the thumb pad test. And that one takes a little bit more tactile feel. This one is foolproof. And you also want to look at you're honing as you're going back and forth with your razor. You want to make sure that it's evenly uh, either pushing the water or the water is going on for over. So you're undercutting or you're pushing, depending on where you're at on your honing. Uh, so let's get this wet. Let's see. See that? So right now, it's not going anywhere. I mean, I had to push it. So right there is digging. I'm gonna go up and it digs. This front here is, I mean, like I said, this is for testing uh, stones and stuff like that as I come through. So, but I can tell this front doesn't feel like the back. Here it digs like immediately I'm going backwards. But here in the front, it slides just a little bit. It means that I did a better job here and I'm not hitting this spot here. You wanna make sure you hit uh, evenly. Uh, but I'm never shaving with this razor. This is just for to show and tell and, and test stones. So there you guys have it. Make sure that you have your fingernail nice and wet and you try again no pressure no pressure I'm not pushing down I'm just letting it go that's the easiest way I know for a fact that this razor will cut hair from my arm and I don't have a lot of hair in my arm but let's see if I can get it to see there you go probably hear it let's do something let's cut some of these hairs and then you can see it you see the hairs uh, you guys can say no or yes <laughs> uh, I'm asking like if you can say something but yeah so it cuts hair so my bill is set now I am ready to go to the next stone and that's how you recognize your bevel is set my two ways, it means to cut hair from the arm or leg effortlessly, pleasantly, <laughs> without an effort, and it needs to pass thumbnail. Very important, after you do the thumbnail, make sure you go back to your stone a couple more times because when you're doing that, you are dulling <laughs> your razor. I don't know if that's a, that's a word, but you're making your razor dull. Uh, it's not crazy much, but you want to make sure that you go back and do about 10 other passes to make sure that you clean that edge again and then go back to your next stone. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Please leave your comments, subscribe, let me know what you want to see, and I'll catch you later.